The graph shows y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. Find the values of a, b, c and d. So quite often you're given a graph, this looks like some sort of cubic, and you know it cuts the x-axis and you know where it cuts the y-axis and you have to come up with the equation of this graph. Okay, so y is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. If you consider the x-intercept, so that's going to be that's going to be minus 4, minus 1 and 2 in this case. We can make up our equation by saying that y is equal to a, and we'll think about finding a at the end, times x plus 4 from this root here, because x um, minus 4 plus 4 makes 0, x plus 1, because minus 1 plus 1 makes 0, and x minus 2, 2 take away 0 makes 0. And then we can expand these brackets and come up with a cubic. So expanding the brackets, we get a is times x plus 4. We'll deal with that one in a minute. We'll just expand these two here. So it's going to be x times x minus 2 plus 1 times x minus 2. And take a little bit of time and care doing this so that you don't make any mistakes early on. So you get that a is x plus 4, which we haven't expanded, x times x, which is x squared, x times minus 2, which is minus 2x, plus x minus 2. And then collecting those like terms together, we're going to get x squared minus x minus 2. And now what we need to do is we need to expand these two brackets. So we're going to have a x times x squared minus x minus 2, x times it, and then plus 4 times x squared minus x minus 2. So expanding very carefully, so we get a x cubed, x times x squared, x times minus x gives me minus x squared, x times minus 2 gives me minus 2x, plus 4x squared, minus 4x, minus 8, so be just careful with the signs and things. So collecting together like terms, we get a is x cubed, minus x squared plus 4x squared gives me 3x squared, minus 2x and minus 4x gives me minus 6x, still got the minus 8. Alright, in order to find the a, we need to know the coordinates of one other point on the curve, so that the only other point we have is the y-axis at 0, 16. So, Consider the y-intercept, so this is the y-axis, so that's going to be when x is 0, y is equal to 16. So we put that in here, so y we put equal to 16 is equal to a times 0 cubed plus 3 times 0 squared minus 6 times 0 minus 8. And that gives me 16 is equal to minus 8a, and therefore a is equal to minus 2. Therefore, y will be equal to minus 2 times all of this. So expanding this, we're going to get minus 2x cubed minus 6x squared minus times a minus gives plus 12x and minus times a minus 8 gives a plus 16. Now, see in the format, y is equal to ax cubed plus bx plus cx plus d. So a is minus 2, b is minus 6, c is equal to plus 12, and D is equal to 16. So we found the value of A, B, C, and D. So this has been a video to show you the const, find how to find the constants of a cubic from its graph knowing the intercepts. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.